Heavenly Father, I have never asked for much. This world, this life, I won't lie, there have been hardships. A harder life than I ever thought any man was able to endure. I have endured. Lord, you know I have endured. But this, this is supposed to be a new beginning. Please, Lord, please, don't let this happen. That woman in there, she needs you. child inside of her needs you. Please. lost.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Mr. Winchester, what are you doing? Why are we going in circles? What? Circles were not. We are. Hand me that horse whip. No. If you just let me explain. The horse whip. Now. Get on your knees. Turn around. I won't ask you twice. Get on your knees. Let's just, let's just calm down. Mr. Henry, who are you waiting for out here? We've been traveling in smaller and smaller circles for the last two hours now. Ooh, you're spiraling, aren't you? We're getting close to something. Who are you meeting out here and where are they? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> yeah, you do. Tell me where they are. Please. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Turn around. We shoot him first. Obviously. Come on! Oh my god! Oh my god, what's happening? Shit! God damn it, Emery! Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? You okay, Cole? Jacqueline. Emery. It's good to see you. He was gonna kill me. You don't look so good, boy. Emery, wait! Scarlet! Mary! Can you help me? Uh, can you help me? No.
You're supposed to be dead. Boo. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. But a better question would be, what are you doing in here all alone? I don't see anyone here guarding you, or dare I say protecting you. I mean, where's the sheriff at? There is a jail. Shouldn't there also be a sheriff? I mean, they left you in here like a sitting duck. Jacqueline! Jacqueline! Ah, good, so she's near. What? Is she? Jacqueline, that's your daughter, right? The one you believe being earshot? Listen, you said it yourself. This is a jail. There's gotta be someone. There's gotta be a sheriff nearby. And if they get in, how do they get past me? And then, if they get past me, and I tell them who you were, any sheriff out here will let me kill you. I'd be doing him a favor. Your wife. We brought her to this town. We saved her. I think it's about time we get you out of this cell. What do you think? Asking you shall receive. Before we dance, I'd like to tell you a little story. Go on, have a seat there. You ain't going anywhere. Back home, you know what they used to call me? They used to call me Blackheart. But over the years, instead of just calling me Blackheart, they started calling me something else. They started calling me the devil. <laughs> Do I have your attention? You see, back home, I had a room. It was a room much like this one, in fact. Let me tell you, it was a room that you did not ever leave again if you were to enter it. I once kept a man in there for several days. Kept feeding him, supplying him with medical attention, just to keep him alive. This is over a gambling debt. Not a man who killed me, robbed me, stole my wife and sister. Your sister? Yes, Mary is also gone. What did you do with him? 
That colored girl is your sister? I left her with you. Don't you lie to me, boy. Please, stop. I beg you. Please show me mercy. Wait, you showed me mercy? Think about your wife. What do you think I'm doing here, Emery? Did you think I wasn't going to ask you where she was? That's why I'm going to kill you. Stop. You kill me, you'll never find her. I want you to know that you're going to die. You're going to die. It's just a matter of time. As much as you like to think that someone will hear your cries for mercy, no one will. It's just you and me for hours and hours and hours. And we're gonna get to know each other real, real well. You're gonna tell me where my wife is. You're gonna tell me where my sister is. And you're gonna tell me where my money is. And before you go die, Emery, you're gonna tell me where your family is. That way you can die knowing that I killed them too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tortured before. You think that scares me? I know men like you. Hell, I am men like you. You, you should be thinking about that darling little baby of yours. Huh? Your wife went into labor when we shot you. Think about it. You got a boy. Or a girl, ah, maybe a, a son, maybe a daughter. Where's your daughter, Emery? How you know she's my daughter? Well, after you shot me, I could hear you, hear you talking. You find my Jackie, she'll kill you. Is she here? Uh, yes! And my money, I presume it's uh. with her? At the brothel, across the street. Your daughter's at the brothel. Please, stop. I'll receive you. Hey! Jacqueline! I, I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me where they are! Please! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Turn around! Obviously, we shoot him first. Obviously. Oh my god! Oh my god, what's happening? Okay. Shit! God damn it, Emery! Oh my god, what's happening? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? You okay, Cole? Jacqueline. Emery. It's good to see you. He was gonna kill me. You don't look so good, boy. Emery, wait! The hell, Emery? Cole was with us. He would have bled out anyway in the next hour. I mean, he would have slowed us down and died anyway. I'm going to get Francisco's gun. <laughs> that right there, that is a mercy killing. Uh, uh, uh. Where's the gold? What? The gold, we know you're riding with it from New Orleans. Just tell us where it is and we can all be on our way. You don't know what you've done. Come on down. 
Come out of the stagecoach now. Both of you. Let's go. <sighs> All right, come on now, where is it? Let's go, quick now. In the trunk. <laughs> the key. Come on, we haven't got all day. Take you into town. Dig. Why? Why you think? Are you gonna kill me? Don't you think you've killed enough people for one day? Dig. God damn it, this is taking too long. What are you digging through, granite? You wanna help me dig? What? I say, you wanna help me dig? Huh? Go and pick up that shovel before she gives birth among the rattlesnakes. Going, Emery. Put your hands behind your back. What are you doing? No, this is the only way. You can't just leave me out here. Better than dying. But you leave me out here and I'm as good as dead. Well, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so you best come to grip with that. I'm sorry. How come I got all the drinks? Get this shit in front of you. Hey, oh, let's do it. Here's your toe. I got two hands, right? No, I'll take it. It's like a Woo! <laughs> okay, here's how we play this game, all right? If you can stand up, then I take a drink. If I can stand up, I take a drink. What if I can stand up? I don't give a shit. I'm kidding. We're just standing up. We're just standing up. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, my goodness. Show us another trick. Show us another trick. You just want me to think about it. Clean a heart. Okay, ready? Ready? Keep digging. My stop. What do you mean? This is where I meet my dad. That was your father? Look, uh, there's a mission about two miles up that way. If you hurry, you should be able to make it there before you give birth. My sister's of mercy will be able to help you. You're just gonna let me go? Like I said, this is my stop. <laughs> Are
already drunk. This is my Jackie. Jackie! How you doing? Hey, Jackie. Move. What are you doing? I'm making friends. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. This is Jackie. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jackie. You guys are going to be our tour guide for this fine town. Here's the Crow's Landing. Crow's Landing! Crow's Landing. Yeah. <laughs> I brought her here. I brought her here and I let her go. What? I brought her here and I let her go. Stop. Stop what? Stop your peacocking. Stop talking okay. about it. I am. That's more like it. That's my girl. That's right. That's more like it. That's my girl. Drinking in a brothel. Well, that ain't very ladylike. Who said anything about her being ladylike? <laughs> well, Mr. Chaplin, what shall I have? She can order her own goddamn drink. You know, actually, on second thought, I'm not thirsty after all. Oh? Well, what is it I can get for you? Well, this is a brothel, ain't it? It is? I think I'd like to order something off that menu. <laughs> Well, we have a fine selection of beautiful women. Finest in all the West. You work here, don't you? I do. Well. Well what? Where are the bedrooms? Jackie. <laughs> don't. They're upstairs. Well, lead the way then, sir. Chester! Watch the bar for me. Chester, watch the bar for me. Believe me, I can't miss at this range. Sure, it would be messy though, huh, brother? Oh, I've cleaned up plenty of messes in here, old time. It ain't nothing new. This is a brothel. Put the gun down. I ain't doing anything till I get my daughter. 
I ain't gonna let that son of a bitch embarrass my little girl like that either. She sounds willing. Okay. Okay. You win. Don't. Don't. How cute of you. Calm down. No. No, I will not calm down! <laughs> Next round's on the house. Guess you get a lot of practice on a broth on huh? Yeah. Sure do. <sighs> Stay the night. Stay the night? What are you, a girl? Nah, just the night. Then you'll be on your way in the morning. You're just gonna kick me out so soon, huh? Nah, it ain't like that. I just think we can do it once or twice more before he leaves, all. Is that supposed to be flattering? Well, coming from a brothel owner who's had a lot of practice, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Look, this really had nothing to do with you, okay? I was just trying to piss off Emery. Who's Emery? Does it matter? Yes, not. Exactly. Because it had nothing to do with you. Kind of like to think it did. It didn't? It did. I guess we do it once more before I go. See, I knew you'd come around. You're an odd duck, aren't you? An odd duck? It's okay. I kind of like it. Of course you do. <laughs> Everybody likes me. That's not what I said. Well, that's what I heard. Look, you seem... nice. <laughs> nice people get hurt around me. Well, you're in luck. I ain't all that nice. No? No. As a matter of fact, I just used you for sex. You used me? <sighs> yep. <laughs> that was my intention as soon as you came in the bar. I tricked you into taking me upstairs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you think a beautiful girl like you walks into my place and takes me by the hand? <laughs> you got another thing coming, that's what you think. Okay. Okay, what? Say I spend the night. Yeah? It'd have to be free of charge, of course. Mm. I'd have to ask the manager. All right, I can wait. Okay, so come on, who's Emery? Is that your husband downstairs waiting to kill me after all this? Husband, no. Gross, no. It's my father. Oh, even worse. So your father just listened to us having sex? It's fine. Really? No, I'll probably be up in a little bit to kill you. Well, shit. Unless you kill him first, of course. You ever kill anybody? You? Yep. All the time. Sorry to hear that. Killing ain't easy. It's not supposed to be. Who'd you kill? Well, we used to have the sheriff in town. One of our regulars. Used to come in, rough up the girls a little bit. One night, it got a little too rough. I had to string him up. You hanged him. Plus side, though, I got my own jail now. That could come in handy, I guess. Yep. Look, I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, uh, check on the bar. Why? Well, I left my brother in charge. Okay. Ah, oh, Chester, what'd you do now? The ambassador's heavier than I thought. You wouldn't be doing this if you were doing your job. You know I can't resist a fine woman.
sure we'll just leave them here? Hell yeah. Best place for them. Get you, sir. Oh, come on. We're leaving for three fucking minutes and you're on ransacking the place. I swear to God, I'm not in the mood. Get it, go. All right, sorry, Kevin. Animals. Chester, look at this. What is it? Come here, look! It's a lot of gold. I do believe that's why we moved to the West. Well, brother, I do believe you are right. <laughs> yeah! Please help me. May I have a glass of water, please? Do you have any money? I prefer a glass of water. Well, this will help take the edge off. Drink up. Jane off yet. <sighs> See? We're feeling better already. Will you get her a glass of water? Tell you to get me a glass of water? <laughs> Can I 
ask you something. You're not a runaway, are you? No. You look like a runaway. The war is over. We're still shooting at each other in Louisiana. We're not in Louisiana. Look, it's no big deal. See, everybody in here is running away from something. Now, why don't you tell me where you got all that money? What money? All the money that you're spending on this fine Kentucky bourbon. But I already told you I don't have any money. <clears throat> you do realize I just cheered you, right? Now, it's bad luck where I come from when someone doesn't drink up after someone cheers us up. I don't know what you're talking about. I just clinked your glass with mine. Made you drink up. Why? I don't know why. It's what people do. They drink. Doesn't look like you can afford any more bad luck. There. So, back to payment. You see, the first two were on the house. But the third... Nothing's free. Not in this lifetime, anyway. I can work. Can you now? Here? Yes. Do you know what kind of place this is? Yes. What is it, then? It's a brothel. And do you know what a working girl does in a brothel? I have nowhere else to go. Oh, there's always somewhere. No, there isn't. We've been riding for weeks on the end. I've seen what's out there. There's nothing. Are you sure you're not a runaway? I already told you. I know a lot of people that'll pay a lot of money for a runaway. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what happened? Nothing. You're not suicidal, are you? Is this your place, or is there someone else I need to talk to about getting hot on? Well, this is Crow's Landing. And I'm Chester Crow. So can I stay? Well, that depends. Depends on what? How well the interview goes. What kind of an interview? When was the last time you had a nice clean bath and a place to spend the night? No. Well, let's change that. We're not gonna fuck. I get that. Now don't take another step towards me. Calm down. I just want a safe place to sleep tonight and I'll be on my way in the morning. Look, how about we just put that gun down and discuss this? Look, if you shoot, every man, woman, and child down there is gonna hear that shot and they'll come running up here. Especially my brother Christopher. He doesn't take these things too lightly. This is a misunderstanding, that's all. I bet that bath water over there is still warm. You want me to go find that out for you? You're not gonna take a bath with me. Okay, I'll, I'll keep my back turned like a gentleman. Just know, if anything happens, Christopher will be up here and he's not nearly as gentleman-like as I am. Last time you had a clean bath. Is that water clean? Well, it's not as dirty as it could be. Come on. 
You look like you've had a bad day. It's been pretty bad. What's your name? Mary. Mary Laclede. Well, Mary, I'll tell you what. I'll keep my back turned. You slip out of those dirty rags and take a nice, refreshing bath. If you don't want me to look at you, I won't look at you. Keep the gun pointed at me if you like, but just know if anything happens, you won't make it out of this room alive. Nice. Told you. Well, your whores get their own bath. Well, customers like a clean whore. Well, well most of them. <laughs> well, you know, I take that back. You know, most of the men themselves haven't taken baths for weeks at a time, and, and those are the clean ones. You don't have baths where you come from? I grew up on a plantation in New Orleans. They don't have baths in New Orleans? You never been? Nope. Can't say that I have. God, that does feel good. Told you. You are in line. Do you mind if I do something and you won't think it's strange? What? I have to make this bed squeak. What? Why? Just. Stay put. I... You do this with all the girls? Well... <laughs> well... Start a broth who you think you think this is gonna be amazing. Then after a while it just becomes like anything else. You get to know the girls and it just kinda loses its luster, you know? It just becomes like a job. It's a lot of work. You try to keep everybody happy. But the truth is. Nobody's ever happy. Not in this world, anyway. Sounds like you've been doing this a long time. <sighs> yeah, well, we were raised in a brothel back east. Then one day my brother just got up and said, hey, we're getting out of here, you and me. We're, we're headed west, a place where we can do whatever we want. <laughs> in a land where we don't have to spend every waking moment of our lives in a stinking brothel. Well, when we headed out west, gold wasn't as easy to find as everyone made it sound. You see that everyone made it sound like it was as easy as picking an apple from a tree. Well, it wasn't. 
truth is, it's a lot of hard work. And there's not as much of it as everyone said there was. So we just decided to take the gold from the people who could find it. They always say, do what you know, right? So lo and behold, here we are in another stinking brothel. But it's easy to do. You keep the girls happy, you keep the patrons happy, and everybody's happy. Well, instead of digging for gold, they just hand it over to you. I thought you said no one's ever happy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting too old for the pleasures of this life. You look like just a boy to me. There, I think that's rather believable. So what now? Well, now you get a good night's rest. I'll leave the back door unlocked, but be out as early as you can. Christopher's an early riser. Where am I gonna go? Well, that's up to you. Go anywhere you want. The first person to ever say that to me. Well, Miss Mary, if I don't ever see you again, it has been my pleasure having pretend sex with you. Pleasure was all mine. If I don't leave in the morning, what would happen? Well, you'd be put to work, earn your own food and board, and anything extra you might earn. But I have to hold. I'm sorry to say this, but you are far too pretty to be put in the kitchen. Then why are you letting me leave? Because the good ones get away. I'm not a good person. So you want to work here? Where am I gonna go? I don't know. Do you mind if I read these? You can read? My father owned a plantation and my mother was one of his slaves. When I was born, he could have freed me, but he didn't. He just kept me there. He owned me. He had a legitimate son, a white son, with his wife by the name of Francisco. He was the only person in this whole world that was ever kind to me. And he taught me to read, even though that was illegal. He would, he would read me books all the time. The books, the stories, they let me escape. What was your favorite one? Oh, you laugh. Now, come on, tell me, what is it? Frankenstein. You ever read it? It's pretty dark. Sounds German. English. Frankenstein. It sounds German to me. Oh, yes, Frankenstein, the name. But the novelist is English. 
was my big brother's favorite book too. It's about life and death. And no matter what's created in this world, we all want to be loved. And if that love is not returned, we can do some pretty horrible things. Well, don't be here in the morning. It's a big world out there. Not stop. What do you mean? This is where I meet my dad. That was your father? Look, there's a, a mission about two miles up that way. If you hurry, you should be able to make it there before you give birth. This is Susan Mercy will be able to help you. <laughs> You're just gonna let me go? Like I said, this is my stop.
Are you shocked? Are you giving birth? She, she said there would be Sisters of Mercy here. She said two miles out of town was a mission, that they would help me. But there's no one here. There is a mission about a mile or so back. I saw it coming in on the train. Can you help me? Please. Of course. Uh, of course. Let's take a look at that arm. The bullet is still lodged inside. We're gonna have to dig it out. There's no time. The baby's coming soon. Okay. Can you walk? Yes. Well, let's get you up and walk in. Let's get you to that mission. I'll get you there. I promise. In one piece? In one piece. Grace, please don't let me die. Not today. Not like this. Stop for a second. I can barely breathe. What's your name? Grant. Grant Morgan. You? Scarlet. Scarlet Winchester. Where are you from, Scarlet Winchester? New Orleans. Well, Mrs. Winchester, we're gonna get you to that mission. Don't you worry for one second, okay? And we'll get that bullet out of you. Then you're gonna give birth to whatever beautiful baby you're about to give birth to. You hear me? Yes. Good. You think it's a girl or a boy? I don't know. I'm betting it's a girl. What makes you so sure? Call it father's intuition. You're a father? Yes, ma'am. How many children do you have? Just the one. A beautiful baby girl.
It's okay. I'm not a leper or anything. We don't really do that where I come from. The South. Mm-hmm. It's fine. <sighs> See? Tastes the same. I guess so. It's kind of weird though, right? Yeah. I guess so. You know, you don't have much of a southern accent for somebody from New Orleans. That's because my father owned the plantation in New Orleans, but he also owned factories up in Boston. He spent a lot of time up there. He liked the North. He said it was sophisticated. Always wanted me to marry a gentleman. I was supposed to marry a nice man. And the war broke out, and he headed south. He sent for me since he was worried we may never see each other again. What happened? When I got home, Confederate soldiers had hanged him in the front yard for being a Union sympathizer. Long story short, I don't want a southern accent. I try to hide it as best I can. Did you fight? I did. Over in Illinois, just across the Mississippi, joined the Union. Saw my fair share. Why are you helping me? Most of you Southerners don't realize that Abraham Lincoln only freed your slaves. I'm from Missouri. He didn't free me. No. He left me in chains. As the Union was breaking up, a lot of the plantation owners to the North knew the change was coming. They knew it was only a matter of time until all the northern states would outlaw slavery, including Missouri. So, a lot of them decided to sell off their slaves so they could make as much money as they could before it was too late. I watched my whole family torn apart and sold down to Mississippi. Me, too old, they didn't sell me, my wife, my daughter, she'd be about your age right now. You could be her right now with a bullet in her on the verge of giving birth, out here in the desert, in the middle of nowhere, with nobody to help her. I'd like to think that someone would help her if she was in your situation. Cole? Who's this? Cole Henry. He was our driver. He set us up and got my husband killed. Put the gun down. Listen, I know where their goal is. A lot of it. It's more than you can imagine. You sell her to me right now, and I'll give you half of that gold. Sell her to you? That's right. She's rich. That's not gonna happen. You don't, she dies anyway. You sell her to me right now, and I'll give you half of that gold. I'm not selling anybody.
to get going. Baby's coming. I don't want to give birth out here among the rattlesnakes. You? Yes, you have to. She's been shot. And she's giving birth. Yes, of course. Come in. Come in. this your <sighs> now let's have a look at this shoulder is that bullet still inside you yes well we're gonna have to get that out before it gets infected oh my gosh you're burning up dear there's no time the baby's coming right now Francisco stepped in and said he would take care of me. He said if I married him, he'd keep the plantation and the family. Sounds like a good man. <laughs> you obviously didn't meet my husband. Uh, most people said he was the devil. <laughs> is, it, is everything okay? You out! Something's wrong! Okay. Yeah, you I'm, out! I'm, I'm, out okay. now! I'll be right outside if you need me, okay? <laughs> give up not now you're so close so close and you are a fighter I can tell I've seen my fair share of fighters in this world so I know when I am looking at one and you are a fighter you're braver than you think you are a push
long was I out? Well, look who it is. What are you doing here? You must have worn the pretty little thing out. Mary, what are you still doing here? She works here now, you idiot. At least that's what you told me. I thought I might stay. But why? <laughs> is she here? Uh, yes! And my money, I presume uh. it's with her. At the brothel. Across the street. Your daughter's at the brothel. <laughs> Please, stop. This establishment, I think that makes me the most expensive item on the menu. You! Fuck! Ah! Asking you shall receive. Hey! Jacqueline! That was unexpected. I was fine. Oh, that really hurts. Hey. Yeah. Before we die, I just wanted to say. Shh. Shh. No. I just wanted to say. We're not gonna die. I just wanted to say. I think I really like you. That's nice. I think I really like you too. What you said. What's that? I don't think the good ones get away. Do you think we'll get away? No matter what's created in this world, we all want to be loved. And if that love is not returned, we can do some pretty horrible things. Heavenly Father, I have never asked for much. This world, this life, I won't lie. There have been hardships. A harder life than I ever thought any man was able to endure. But I have endured. Lord, you know I have endured. But this... This is supposed to be a new beginning. 
please. Lord, please. Don't let this happen. That woman in there, she needs you. And that child inside of her needs you. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. A little baby girl. A little baby girl. Can you believe it? You're a mother now. I hope if your daughter is ever in trouble like this, someone like you will be there for her.
you. Sorry guys, fucking hell.